Hello students, I am Amul Bhagwe from Physics Department and today we will study an important topic from 12th standard. So without wasting any time, let's start with the topic. Today our topic is module 3 of Rotational Dynamics in which we have to study two applications of UCM. In first application, we will study motion of vehicle along a horizontal circular track. As shown in a diagram, consider a vehicle of mass m moving along a circular track of radius r, where c is center of a circular track. In this case, the three different forces acting on a vehicle are its weight mg vertically downward, second normal reaction n vertically upward and force due to friction between tires and road surface. Direction of this force is towards left or towards center of the circular track. Direction of this force is interesting because in 11th we have studied force due to friction opposes the motion of a body and in our case our vehicle is moving perpendicular to the plane of paper that is either outward or inward. So the direction of frictional force should be inward or outward. In order to understand the direction of frictional force shown in our diagram, we need to understand that we are talking about a situation where vehicle takes a safe turn and by safe we mean without skidding in outward direction. In our diagram, the direction of skidding is towards right and this frictional force which is towards left or towards the center of a track saves vehicle from skidding. Therefore, from diagram, normal reaction is equal to weight of the vehicle and more importantly, the required centripetal force in this case is provided by the force due to friction. So, force of friction is equal to mv square upon r. But as we know from 11th, frictional force is mu into n, where mu is coefficient of friction. In our case, coefficient of friction between tires and road surface. Therefore, it's mv square upon r equals to mu into n. If we substitute n, which is mg, then it becomes mv square upon r equals to mu into mg. Cancelling m on both sides, it's v square equals to mu gr and therefore v equals to under root mu g into r. Students, picture on your screen is of a stunt known as well of death or more popularly known as Motka Kua. In our second application, we will study simple physics behind this stunt. As we saw in a picture, in this stunt, vehicle is driven along the inner wall of a cylindrical well. So, as shown in a diagram, consider a cylindrical well of radius r. m is mass of a vehicle along with a stunt man. Three different forces acting on a vehicle in this case are its weight mg in vertically downward direction, normal reaction horizontally towards the center and frictional force which is vertically upward. Therefore, in this case, the necessary centripetal force is provided by normal reaction. So, n equals to mv square upon r. Also, frictional force is equal to weight of the body that is mg. But as we know, frictional force is mu into n. Therefore, mu into n equals to mg. Therefore, n equals to mg upon mu. If you substitute it into the first equation, it's mv square upon r equals to mg upon mu s. Cancelling m on both sides, it's v square equals to rg upon mu and therefore 
V equals to under root RG upon mu. If you like the video, then please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you will not miss out any live sessions after this.